previously on LPS Disappeared. Allie, I just woke up and Mom and Dad aren't here. What are you talking about? It, it can't be. They have to be here. Allie, Allie, I have to tell you something right now. When I was making breakfast, I heard some weird noise come from Mommy and Daddy's room. And Mackenzie, call 911 right now. What? Why? Was there something in there? No, but it means you were right. They really are missing. I miss mom and dad. So, uh, how are you doing? Well, to be completely honest, I'm depressed, shocked, scared. I, I don't know what's gonna happen to us. And am I ever gonna see my parents ever again? I just, I really miss them. Don't worry, Allie. I know exactly how you feel. I miss my dad, too. Even if he didn't feel like my dad. Well, I know it's not just me that feels this way. I'm sure Mackenzie feels just like me. And I don't know how to help her. We need to look for them. What are you talking about? Aren't the police on this investigation? I mean, how are we going to figure out where they went? I don't know, but I'll do whatever it takes to find them, no matter what. What did the detectives say when they were questioning you? They just asked a bunch of questions like when I last saw them and what they were talking about and just little things like that. But to be honest, I don't think they'll ever find them. They said that if they found any new info or clues or anything that they would let me know, but who knows when that's gonna happen. Allie, Lucy. Yes? What is it, Mackenzie? Grandma's here. Um, do you want her to come in the room? Or do you guys still need uh, uh, some alone time? She can come in. Um, I have some stuff to do on here. Okay, I'll go get her. So, um, where is all your furniture and stuff? Because you're staying with us, right? Of course. But when I got your phone call about your parents missing, I just mainly dropped everything and ran over here as fast as I could. So I didn't really get a chance to bring anything over here. Oh, well, did you want to get your stuff and bring it over here? Because you can do that right now if you want. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I'll go right now and pick everything up. Okay, see you later. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye. Hi, honey. How are you doing? I think I could do better. Uh, what about you? I'm pretty devastated, and I, I don't know. I just, I miss your mom a lot. It's okay, Grandma. I don't know how to react either. But are you going to be moving in with us? If that's okay with you, I know that you're kind of the new homeowner now, but it's your choice. That would be great, Grandma. If you need any help, I can always help you if that's what you want. That's okay, honey. 
I can do it. There's already a lot of stress on your shoulders, and I don't want to add any more stress. So, but if there's anything that you need, just let me know. Uh, if you want me to make you something to eat or whatever it is, just let me know. I, I'll be in the kitchen, okay? Okay. Okay, honey. What am I even doing? I'm supposed to be looking for mom and dad, not waiting for the police to find them. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I don't care what it takes. I will find them. They could be calling me. Huh. Weird. It's probably a telemarketer trying to sell me something that I don't need. Huh. 911. Why is the police department calling me? Oh. Hello, this is Ellie Johnson. How can I help you? Hello, Ellie. This is Chief Isaac, and uh, I was at your house earlier today, and I just got some news uh, that I wanted to tell you, and um, yeah, it's probably not going to be very good, so... What do you mean, probably? What news? Okay, you're right, it's not probably, it is, and the news, it's not very good at all. Um, I don't know how to break this to you. Uh, okay. Okay, I have bad news and good news. The bad news is we can no longer carry on with the investigation. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. What? How am I gonna find my parents? What, why are you doing this? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but there's not enough clues to find out where they went. And I'm not the one that's got the control over this investigation. So I'm truly sorry about this. But the good news is I can help you. What do you mean there's not enough clues? Why don't you come to my house and look for some more? I just, I, I need to find my parents. I can't live without them. You need to find them. And what do you mean by help me? I'm sorry, but we can't carry on with this investigation. I don't know why, but please don't ask me because I really don't know. But I can I can help you. And what exactly do I mean by that? I can help you and we can solve this case together. Wait, what? I, I don't understand. Well, you want to look for your parents and I'm guessing you were doing that just now, putting all the clues together and figuring out what happened to them. I can help you. What? How did you know? Trust me, I did the same thing too when I was 15. My parents went missing and I did the same exact thing you did. I went looking for them and nobody helped me, but I still figured out where they went. Well, I don't really exactly know where to start and I don't really know how to do something like this. I've never done anything like this before. Well, I have. And before your dad quit the, his job here at the police department, I went through some of his stuff in the office and it looks like he was working on some kind of case, but he never could solve it. And so all this pressure and stress just got to him and I guess he felt like he needed to quit and just relax for a while. But one thing I could say is that you really do need some help and I can help you. Um, okay. I guess that would be great, but I'm leading this case. Okay, if that's what you want, but I just want to let you know that your dad and I were really, really good friends and that I would really love him to come back to work. Not because I miss him, <laughs> but it's been kind of lonely around here. Okay, well, when do you, do you want to start? I was thinking tomorrow because I have a meeting at 11 
58. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I should be supervising from there on. So you could either come over here or I could go over there and we can discuss how we're going to find them. But whatever you want to do. Okay, so you come over here tomorrow at, let's see, at 2.30 and we can look for some more clues in the bathroom and see if we can find some other clues and we can discuss from there on. How about that? Okay, sounds great. Let me put that on my calendar so I don't forget. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. Just hold on, William. I'll save you. You hope.